what's up everybody? Today on Tools in Action we have an unboxing from Milwaukee. Milwaukee Tools. And this is something that actually, uh, when I was younger, I was a car detailer for like five, ten years, I don't know. He was called the Buff Master. That's what, that's what they call yep. me, the Buff Master. And I was all in the buffers. I actually, I don't know where. They were all up there last time. I don't yeah, know what, what happened? Oh, it's up there. I don't know if you guys can see it up there, but there's my DeWalt <laughs> buffer. I haven't really buffed in quite a while. I, I think car technology's changed a little bit. It doesn't fade as much with these newer vehicles, but more now you want scratches and stuff like that. So we did do an AC Delco small one. Uh, you know, like your headlights, like the headlights on your yeah, car. Yeah. Oh, this is Paul, by the way, uh, local 134, 134 electrician. He's hanging out with us today for the unboxing. I also maintain my own cars every weekend. You do? Yeah. You wash them? Wash them, wax them. Oh, what well, kind of wax do you use? Uh, Meguiar's. Oh, uh, man. man. You, you know what, the stuff? The ice. Black ice. Yeah, I, Oh, you I, use black ice? Or is it, is it ice? Just turtle wax Turtle ice. wax ice, I just yeah. ordered some. Oh, is black ice different than ice? Black ice is for black cars. Oh, no, that turtle. Because you can get it on the plastic on there, and you know how you usually get that white film? It comes right off. You don't have to worry about any of it. The stuff's yeah, awesome. Yeah, and I was telling Paul about this the other day, but he didn't believe me. He's like, I'm not washing in the sun. Turtle wax ice. I just ordered new ones from Amazon. It's like six bucks. You just spray it on a rag, wipe it all over your car, windows, uh, the, the rubber, anywhere. And I've been using this stuff for like 10 years now, and all my vehicles have a great shine to them. Yeah, I don't no, need they to do. buff them. They After do. seeing the results on his truck, uh, he had changed my mind, so I'm going to try it out. Yeah, definitely try it out. It's good stuff. But today, you guys, let's unbox this thing. Go so ahead. It's a Milwaukee Cordless Variable Speed Polisher. Uh, it's 2438-22X. And it's means a sander. It's got, yep, and a sander, which means it's got two batteries in there. Now, the reason you guys would need something like this, I mean, I was reading their press release on this, and they're like, it's going to save the detailer time, stuff like that. I don't necessarily think it's going to save the detailer time because, you know, with a big yeah. puffer, you, you can use the corner to get in where you need. This is going to be good for quick, small applications. <coughs> you're so, out in the field, a guy that does touch-up, a guy that does quick scratches, you know, you're a car dealership, you just delivered a car, there's a scratch on it, you got to send the guy out real fast. This is going to be something good to take So what are home. these pads for? I know that's a buffing pad, right? These are buffing pads, Eric. Very good. Man, we're just opening it just like the first time you are. All right, so here you have a quick Velcro release. Here's another tip. It's hard to burn the paint with foam. So if you're a novice and you're first time buffing, use a foam pad because you chances are you won't burn the paint. With wool, you want to use that for your cutting applications. Oh, well, no, isn't the foam pad the applicator for the uh, wax itself? Well, yeah, but you don't really applicate. You, you don't use these for applicators. You know, I mean, you'll put it on the vehicle and then sh work it into the vehicle's paint. Um, but there's different kinds of chemicals. There's different kinds of compounds you're going to be using. First thing you're going to want to do is if you have a big scratch is cut the paint. So you have to use a gritty. You'll feel it when you put it on your hands, compound, and you'll feel it. If there's grit in it, you know that when you use this tool to apply it, it's going to leave scratches, just like sanding. You know, you start with a rougher grit, yeah. and then you got your scratches, and then you finally polish it into, wow, I really like that thing. Yeah, well, and it's cool. It's got two speeds. The first speed, it tells you polisher is speed one, which is 0 to 2800, and for a sander, is 0 to 8300 in two speed. Wow, so, and it comes with an XC battery and a regular yeah, battery? Yeah, so you got the regular battery and then the XC battery. Thanks, Eric. They're not two O's and four O's. You know what? I kind of like it. That's not a four O. No. Yeah, this, you guys, is uh, so you could get, it didn't come with any automotive discs. But, you know. No, there's some black disc or something. No, that's, that's not a not. disc. That's the, uh, that's so you can add the pads to it. And then, obviously, you got the charger in here, too. Yeah, so lock it in. And it's only going to go one way. Okay, is that Velcro, uh, Velcro for a certain disc? Yeah, Velcro. So you Velcro it on there. There you go. I mean, if you put your hand on there, it'll heat up, you know? But you're going to want to work. Is that like wool or something, or what is the? Oh, this is a wool pad, yeah. You can wash them. They are washable. Uh, but like you said, you know, when you go to 8300 for sa Oh, jeez. For sanding? <laughs> Today, you're the nuts. I'm sorry. No, no, you man, it flies. Yeah, you definitely don't want to go that. It's a big Whoa. difference, man. What is it, 28 to 83? 28 to 8300. Yeah, yeah four times. <coughs> Status fuel gauge on the side, you guys. This is kind of cool. I've never seen a Milwaukee tool like this. It's kind of cool. No, it is. 
Um, we did have the AC Delco one. I know that the guy that does uh, the campers up at the details of the boats yeah. saw the AC Delco one. He's like, man, I want one. So he's definitely going to want one of these because he can get in behind ladder racks of boats. Oh, and yeah. And rails, yeah. Stuff like that. But very small applications. This thing's going to be awesome for you guys. I'm very excited. Whoops. I'll probably show you guys right now me taking some scratches out on some vehicles. And uh, you know what? I'll even show you guys doing some uh, scraping applications. Sweet. Obviously, this is the unboxing, and we haven't done that yet, but I'm going to take it to the port this week, and uh, we'll see what Play we can do. Play around with it? Yeah, I'll finish it it's up. It's cool. You that. get stuff with it, too, like the buffing pads and all that. And it's, it's not that expensive, if I recall, was it? I don't think it was. I don't remember what the price was on it. What do you think of it, Paul? Yeah, I think it's <clears throat> worth trying. Uh, it looks better than the one I'm using. What do you use? You use an orbital. Yes. That's a completely different. This is a high speed. Orbitals don't take out scratches. Orbitals are just for applying and uh, taking off stuff. You know, because you put an orbital oh, really? on. Yeah. Because an orbital is just, it applies your, and then you flip the pad over yeah, and then take so it off. So you gotta have two separate tools, basically. Yeah, but an orbital does a nice job where it doesn't leave swirl marks. So if right. you're using a black vehicle. You don't have to worry about burning it or. Yeah, you don't have to worry about burning it or anything like that. Gotcha. So. Definitely something Very super cool. cool from Milwaukee, five-year warranty. Uh, I, I definitely give this one a thumbs up. What about you? Yeah, so do I. I like the case it comes in, too. Eh, I would have probably rather seen a plastic case, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'd like to see a plastic case. I, I don't know. I like it. I, just, I don't, I'm I'm don't know anything about buffing or anything like that, but I like the feel of it. Well, it looks like something you could keep in your car, and it's compact. And uh, Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it takes up less room yeah. probably than a box. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, but the only reason you keep it in the car is if you're going to like a car show. You're one of those car show sure. fanatics. Yeah. You know, you whip that. That's what we should do is take this to a car show and see what people think. Hey, can we buff your car for you? Hey, can we buff your car? Let's let we buff your $100,000 the wool, car? The wool pad yeah, and burn exactly. it. <laughs> All right, you guys, check it out. Tools in Action, Ultimate Tool Bag Giveaway is coming up. December 25th. Uh, I thought we had some other announcement coming up. I forget what it was. Oh, man, we got tons of stuff giving stuff away. What do we got? We got some giveaways Eagle coming blower. up. We've got a, well, that's part of the Ultimate Tool Bag, give, Ultimate Tool Bag Giveaway. But I know we've got some other stuff on there. Just keep watching. You know what? We're giving some stuff away in the next coming videos or next coming weeks, I should say, depending upon when these go out. So We'll figure it out. We'll let you know. Yep. Check it out. Uh, hit like, hit subscribe because you love us, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Unless, Unless it's Friday. Friday. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.